Must have number one. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Duenas. So, I know it has been so long since I have filmed um, a video that wasn't a vlog on my channel, but I'm back and today I will be sharing my summer must-haves for you guys. So basically these are just products that I've been liking a lot lately. Um, new products that I tried out that I really, really liked and I wanna share with you guys um, and what I think is best for the summer because you know like the summer the heat comes you know you sweat a lot and it's just like better to have like a lot of lightweight product so i'm super super excited to share these with you guys and without further ado let's get right into it so for the first summer must have um this has always been kind of important to me because i get really ashy elbows but this is the pretty as a peach ultra shea butter lotion from bath and body works it leaves my elbows super super smooth all day it's 24 hour well yeah 24 hour moisture um and it actually works really really good it smells so good too like if you're into like fruity scents um but that aren't like super super harsh you guys can definitely count on this um this smells so good i definitely recommend this one or any type of shea butter lotion um especially bath and body works they have the best best, best ones so yeah that is my first Summer must have. My next summer must have is a setting spray, and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut. This is from the Nicole Concilio collab. So this is the coconut scented one. They have a citrus scented one as well as a greens, like a cucumber greens scented one. But this one smells so good, and I love coconut, especially for the summer. It just feels so lightweight. Like it can be midday and you're super super hot and you just want to spray yourself. This. Definitely recommend this one. I will link everything um, down below as well as the prices. So you guys can check these out. My next summer must have would have to be my favorite detox face mask. So this is the Muddy Body Clay Mask. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of this one. It works so, so good. Um, it's a little more on the pricey side, but when you really think about it, a lot of people say that this is all you get like as product, but in all reality, it lasts you so long. You are only supposed to use it two to three times a week. So I use it two times a week. I do the beginning and the end of the week, and I feel like during the summer, this is gonna be a big necessity for me just because I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup. Like weddings are coming up, bridal showers, quinceaneras, sweet 16s, all of that good stuff. So this is definitely gonna be like pamper yourself type of thing just because it keeps your skin really, really clean. It like cleans out all your pores. So I would definitely recommend this if you plan on wearing um, heavy full face beat makeup this summer. So my next summer favorite would have to be liquid highlighters. So when I'm saying liquid highlighters, I mean like, you know, obviously you can use them on a full face, but for me personally, if I'm going out during the summer and I have no makeup on, I will put like a little liquid highlighter just to kind of like me glow still because I am more on the um, combo skin, I guess you can say, but I usually have more like dry skin days than um, most. So this is the Tarte Tardius Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. And I only use it when I want to go out and without makeup. So that's just what it looks like. The more you blend it in, you know, the lighter it looks. So just keep that in mind because a little product does go a long way. But I definitely recommend this one. It's really hard for me to find good liquid highlighters that I like, but this this has to be like my top one. It has to be up there. You know? Next, summer must have and one of my favorites lately since I bought it and I literally haven't stopped using it. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Again, this is a little more on the pricey side for being a drugstore product. I like it. It applies really, really lightweight, so I'm actually wearing it right now. It doesn't feel heavy. Like, I find that a lot of bronzers, um, the consistency feels really heavy once you apply it, but this one is honestly so good. I definitely recommend this bronzer for anyone who wants to go kind of like for a natural makeup look. This one definitely, definitely goes with the natural. My next summer must-have has got to be Probably the most like number one used must have thus far. It doesn't seem like it is because it is a lot of product, but this is my favorite primer right now, and this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Um, it is a drugstore primer, and it is a little more on the expensive side, but it's definitely worth it, and you get a lot of product. It doesn't look like a lot, but once you open it up, 
it's like a honey consistency you guys can see that it's a honey consistency and a little goes a long way and the spatula applicator makes it a lot easier for you to grab onto product and kind of blend it into your skin this one definitely feels a little oily at first and i thought i wasn't gonna like it once i tried it i was like oh yeah no this is too oily for me but after you let it set for about a minute after applying it and you know you know moisturizing it into your face um it gets really tacky this holds your makeup in place literally all day this is the only primer i have been using for like the past month or so i started using it after i right after i bought it the day i bought it i couldn't wait to try it so i tried it and i really 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 liked it i did not regret spending what i spent on it at all my next summer must-have is my number one go-to summer eyeshadow palette, and that is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. It smells so good. I just have a thing for peaches from the summer. Like, I just, I don't know. It just smells so fresh. In the inside, once you open it up, it has all of those shades to where you can use them on, like, natural makeup days or when you just want to do nothing too heavy and you kind of just want to add some color. It has some nice light pink, some peaches, some nice light browns, even an orange shade in there. So most of them are matte, and I really do like the consistency of their matte eyeshadows. So I definitely recommend this one when you just want to kind of have a carry-on eyeshadow palette, like when you go on vacations, you know, out of town, out of the country, things like that. This is definitely the way to go. The next summer must-have for me, I just got this maybe about last week. It is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. This one is definitely one of my go-tos now, especially because in the summer, you know, like I said, you want to go for more of a natural look or maybe you don't even want to wear makeup at all, but you want, want your lips to look a little glossy. This is definitely the way to go. It lasts a cool minute too, so it doesn't wear off. So I definitely recommend this for those of you who just like going with like natural looks for the summer. The way to go my last summer must have for this video would have to be the Marc Jacobs Daisy oh so fresh perfume my mom got me hooked on this it smells so good it's such a light scent and it lasts literally all day it smells so good I also have his Lola perfume and that one's a little little more on the stronger side not as like strong as most perfumes but this one is definitely the lightest scent that he has I like it for the summer especially because it doesn't feel heavy you know like you feel kind of gross after a while after wearing so much perfume like this isn't gonna give you that feeling this is one of the best perfumes that I have ever tried so that concludes my summer must-haves for this upcoming season I know it's not a lot but I like to kind of keep it compacted into a certain like amount of products just because I don't use a lot like during the summer I know it sounds kind of like weird but you know I work and you know I'm always out during the week so I don't wear makeup during the week on the weekends I tend to do my makeup and you know use all these products like the perfume the lotion and things like that so just keep in mind like all of my products are really lightweight products and that's because you know the summer comes around like I said the heat waves come in and all that stuff so like everything just feels better on me it feels like less weight it feels like okay you're good to go you know it's the type, the type of things that you're like boom out the shower put it on you're done you know keep in mind that my products you know they best fit me I definitely recommend them for you guys a lot of people might disagree but these have just been go-to's since the jump for me like they haven't really failed me <laughs> thus far and I still use them to this day they're still part of my routines um, my daily routines, my makeup routines, my nighttime routines, all of that. So if you guys try them, don't forget to let me know how they worked in the comment section down below. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed my summer must-have video. And I really hope that a lot of these summer must-haves work for you as well. Um, I just am all for the, you know, the lightweight products and the really like scented products, as you guys can tell with the coconut and the peach and all of that. And they're not strong scents. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below on what you'd like to see next, as well as subscribe if you are new, as well as turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.